Fantastic. I'm glad you're ready. The freeze yeah, we're going. Don't worry person. about the freeze. Okay. <laughs> you know, there's a study that talks about, like, it's a, a real scientific thing where people, like, in Zoom meetings, have have you had many Zoom meetings? A couple. Okay. Can you actually look at anybody else's picture other than your own? Or do you actually, like, watch yourself? In I the don't. Zoom? Like, I, I have it set up like the Brady Bunch where there's, like, squares yeah. everywhere, but not my square. Okay, well, you're an anomaly. You can remove your own your, your own picture, and I don't see why I need to look at myself. <laughs> uh, myself is the only one that I want to look at. <laughs> okay, well, never mind. So with that said, we're going to be talking about self-esteem. What was the scientific thing that? I don't what remember. It was just a study about how people want to look at themselves and not other people. And really? how they're like, drawn to looking. Because you want to make sure you don't look ugly. <sighs> I know I look ugly. All oh the time, my god, so. stop it. Okay. So this is what okay, so this is good. You know you look ugly. We're gonna be talking about self esteem oh, here. Boy. Okay? <laughs> so none of this like I look ugly because you're god you're made fearfully me a and wonderfully okay? made and God made you a masterpiece and that is right. But I'm okay with only him thinking that. <laughs> what am I chopped liver? I hope you love me too. Yeah, I think you're okay. You look pretty good. <laughs> but you know how Mama says. She says when you're in love with someone, it's like you got prosciutto on the eyes. <laughs> yeah, it's, instead you got of like the big, Italian big version big leg of, in uh, front of you, so. rose-colored glasses, you have prosciutto legs in yes. front of your eyes. Well, just prosciutto. It's just that in order to love me, you know, you just, your ham is bigger. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> your I love you. Boo so strange i didn't mean to word it like that anyway. and it was very strange <laughs> anyway so i was really self-esteem has been something that i've been focused on this week a lot because one of our sweet sweet children is struggling with self-esteem and yeah as a parent it's heartbreaking it is really heartbreaking i cried a lot i cried while he confessed things to me about how he feels about himself that he's yeah. not good that he's bad and it's such a hard thing to work through. And I imagine, like, how does God feel when we, we think ooh, these things about ooh. ourselves? It's true. So I, I'll admit, there are moments where you're hard on yourself mm -hmm. and, and you, like, message me or you talk to me and I find out, tell you, I'm like, don't don't talk about my wife like that. How dare you? <laughs> yeah. Right? And I tell you that. Who yeah. is my wife? And I'm like, don't talk about my wife that way because I love her to pieces and I think she's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And, and so I have to remind you that you're, you're not allowed to talk about my wife that way. <laughs> and, and this is the thing that happens. And so our kid had a really interesting way of putting it and trying to explain his thoughts to me. And he said, sometimes it feels like my brain isn't working properly. It's telling me these bad things, these bad things come into my head and I don't know why I think them, but sometimes I just think that I'm really bad. No. <laughs> And I wanted to tell him that those are lies from the pit of hell. Right? And back away, Satan. <laughs> but, you know, he put it in such a way that I had to acknowledge the fact that what he's feeling is real. Yeah. That we all feel like that sometimes. Absolutely. We always get those sneaking thoughts in the back of our head. Yeah. Those little lies, those whispered lies that you're not good enough. And it's so hard to deal with. And so... I also really want to touch on the subject in a, a very sensitive way because actually on my way here, um, I listen to CBC because I'm cool like that. I've reached a stage of my life that I just listen to CBC radio and it's great. And there's actually not a lot, of, a lot to choose from in Kirkland Lake, so CBC is great. Um, and they were talking about toxic positivity. Okay? And that... Is that an oxymoron? It's really not because when we think about when someone is having those bad thoughts in their head and you just say, you just need to push those out and think happy thoughts. Yeah, that I wish it was that easy. <laughs> I wish it that was that easy. We're not acknowledging the reality and the pain that someone is feeling, right? There's, there's positivity. Like, you know, we can work through this together. You can tell yeah. them, you know what? There's so, so many great things that I really love about you. And you can, you know, that's... You can guide it. You can't just say, stop what you're feeling. Yes. Well, yeah, we you know, just need we to just push those thoughts aside. Hit this on aside, and off switch. And <laughs> choose, choose to be happy. Sometimes it's not a choice. Sometimes things are really hard. And sometimes we do feel bad about ourselves. 
And sometimes we've made a really stupid mistake and we kind of should feel bad about it. Yeah. You know, but on the flip side, I do want to remind us who we are in Christ. Amen. And so while we are feeling those things, we need to also acknowledge this truth because our feelings aren't always the end all be all. Our feelings aren't no. true. And, and that's very true. So you said like sometimes you can't just, you know, choose to be happy, but you don't have to be guided by your emotions. You can no. be like, you know what? You don't quite belong here. And focus on truths, like you said, from the Bible, from, you know, who God made us to be and we're yeah. his children and, you know, and, and focus on that and be like, the other stuff don't belong in here and, and then begin to, to change your perspective a little bit. Yeah. And your emotions will follow. It's a work in progress. Yeah. It's a work in progress yeah. and it, it requires intentionality. See, I've always said that we're in charge of our bodies, right? Like we're the person inside steering the controls and stuff. Uh, this is given by God and it's one day going to die and stuff, right? Uh, but I'm in control, not my body telling me the way I should feel and stuff. And so to some degree, I should be able to say, hey, you know, it's like when when you're really tired and you're, you're just, I don't feel like worshiping God, you know? And it's like, yeah, but listen, if, if you tell your body, hey, listen, right now is worshiping God time and I'm going to stand up and I'm going to start jumping. I'm going to raise my hands, even if you don't feel like it. Yeah. Right. Your body will, will begin to follow the way you're directing it. So kind of in the same way, when you're directing towards truth and, and who God is, you begin to guide those emotions and be like, you know, some of you emotions in here don't belong in here. <laughs> yeah, I just, but I do want to profess that, um, Not and, easy. and note though also that uh, mental illness is real. Yes, and so absolutely. like, if that's what you're dealing with, you can't just choose to yeah, not deal I with it you. anymore. But sometimes, you know, we just have circumstantial things and, and it is something that we can deal with. So I do want to read from, first of all, I'm reading from Psalms 139, okay, verse 14. Better at that than I am. <laughs> at, saying the saying, proper chapter and the yes. verse that we're reading from. So, yes. I skip ahead very quickly sometimes. So it's Psalms 139, very famous psalm, one of the famous statistics Yeah. <laughs> Of all the psalms. Psalmses? Psalmses. Psalms. <laughs> Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. How mm. well I know it. Hello. When you look outside and you see the trees and you see the sun and you see a rainbow and you see the northern lights and you see rocks and mountains and lakes and you go, oh man, what an incredible creation. What about giraffes? Giraffes, how cool are they? They're kind of funny looking. <laughs> Whatever, but you still look and you go, wow, yeah, God, God God's got your a work <laughs> is a masterpiece. It is. Now look in the mirror. His work is a masterpiece. Amen. You were made by him. He doesn't make junk. And, and I like that we're complex. We are. We're, we're not just, you know, oh, another blade of grass. <laughs> right? It's he, he made us complex with quirks and differences and personalities and and very unique and and each one is a masterpiece so it's, it's like when i like make pens and and i don't like using acrylicy stuff because it's too man-made if you will i like it's using natural woods because it, it's unique it's one of a kind it, it, the way it chose to grow how it was affected by sun and bugs and who knows what else maybe something rubbing up against it changes the way it's grown and so when you turn that into something it's like wow like you'll never have one like this right and so i love all the quirks and the differences and i i think god did the same thing like he made us with quirks and, and how differences. much more awesome are we than a pen <laughs> <laughs> yes okay <laughs> well it's true absolutely right? but but it is, it is it's it's i know it's a good example on a very small scale and i just want to bring that scale really huge that we can look and appreciate absolutely. so many differences in different things and, and not look at ourselves and go oh, I'm bad. Oh, right? Like, wonderfully made. We are. And so, okay, the next verse I'm going to read is John, numero uno, number one, verse 12. But to all who believed in him and accepted him, he gave the right to become children of God. Darn it. You are a child of God. Children of God aren't bad. I'm just using the word bad because that is how my son was able to 
try to verbalize his, all of his huge complex thinking and his <laughs> tiny little vocabulary all he could come up with was i'm, I'm bad. bad summarized it in that one little little sentence i'm bad but we're not no we're children of god like we were made in his image hello right <laughs> and one and more god is good we're going to john 15 number five and Jesus said, yes, I am the vine, and you are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will produce much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. Got to stay connected to the big guy. Christ lives in you, mm -hmm. and you live in Christ. And he makes goodies. Yes. And he makes goodies. What, what does that mean, goodies? Oh. <laughs> Like, yes. Oh, he what? says fruit, right? Yes. And I'm like, well, fruit nourishes, it provides it, you know, and, and so I think like goodies, like a snack, like <laughs> good things. Good things. You come home, he you're hungry, and it's like I want an apple, things. right? And I, I want Not something good things. and nourishing. And, and God produces good and nourishing things in us for other people. Like, yeah. So it's not. These things aren't going to necessarily get rid of negative self thought. I think that it's kind of, uh, it's you know, going to part guide of man. You. Yeah. Well, I think I think that's part of our lives. It's going to be something that we always struggle with. Uh, we need to at be disciplined. Being human, um, and being in a fallen world, you know, we have those emotions and they're real. But the actual truth is, is that we are made in God's image. We are His creation is marvelous and he made you and you live in him and he lives in you and these are truths these aren't just these feelings in the back of my head that you saw what he had me. made and saw that it was good darn right it's good so <laughs> this is the truth this isn't just an opinion this isn't just a little nagging right. thought it's real and i am done so if you want to close in prayer <laughs> okay <sighs> Father God, will you help us to take control of our thought life, of what's going on in there, and recognize it, and be able to address it quickly so that it doesn't fester and grow, God? May, may you help to guide us to your word and be able to see the truths that are in there. See the, well, you're in there. I mean, <laughs> to, to be brought towards that, your promises, God, and, and what you have created, and saw that it was good, and saw that, and, and encourage us, God. Mm -hmm. Will you wrap your arms around us and allow us to, to know you are there and comfort us and, and let us know that what you created isn't junk. It's never junk, that you create masterpieces, God. I thank you, Lord, that you you live life with us, that you're there every step of the way. Um, and I just, yeah, I, I just pray you, you guide us into your word, into who you are, into that beauty, Lord. And you help us to recognize that because we've made mistakes doesn't make us, you know, like bad or, or horrible or, or, but that, that we're forgiven mm -hmm. because of you and, and we're made clean and we're made beautiful and God guide us into those truths and help us to, to grow um, closer to you and to enjoy life with you. Do you have anything to add? No, it's wonderful. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, thank you for joining us. So remember that you, you were wonderfully, <laughs> masterfully created and complex. Mm -hmm. And those are beautiful things. Yeah. Okay. God bless everyone. Ciao.